Welcome back guys, and we're here with our first deck of the uh, new expansion, Eldritch Moon. And uh, before I get into that, I'd like to say I'm probably going to be trying out some streaming tomorrow. This will be this will be a couple hours after this video gets uploaded, so like, I don't know, 12pm, 12pm-ish GM, uh, BST, which is GMT plus one. So if you want to see me there, come, up, come along and uh, watch me mess around with this deck here. <laughs> but... Back to the, the main course here, this is my Selesnya Ramp deck, and uh, most people when they go Ramp, they go uh, they go Gruel for, you know, Omnath, stuff like Chandra, but uh, we're calling Angels instead, <laughs> which is a point I've been waiting to make for such a long time, but yeah, this is Angel Ramp, as I'm affectionately calling it. It's It does what it says on the tin, basically, it's a Ramp deck, except instead of your big scary guy or Avengers and stuff, we have Angels on the top end. Because they, they tend to work quite well with each other, it turns out, so once the, once we eventually get in, I'll, I'll show you the deck. I mostly just glaze over all the boring stuff like Ram spells, because surprise surprise on every deck, but basically the, the end game is to get to our, our late game, and then we, we just get so much value because we can just start chaining, chaining all of our threats together from stuff like Linvala and... Uh, Amira Shepherds, Bruno the Fading Light, which is a new card. Uh, you get to return an angel or human from the graveyard to the battlefield, so you know, we just slam her down and we'll get one of them early angels we've cast back. Stuff like Green Warden can start the chain as well, and then everything before that is just desperately either ramp or just trying to survive, so you know. I keep our two drops, a new, another, another new card we're running is Blessed Lines, because the life gain is relevant and you can make them sacrifice a creature, which is good value, and uh, it's not like we're going to be short on mana to do all the, all the zones. And then, uh, yeah, so I mean, this is this is all the born stuff, just ramp spells, tireless tracker. I'm trying out one Angelic Purge, just to see if I need it or not. And then uh, the other angel, Giselle of the Broken Blade, a bit mini Bane Slayer angel, and yeah, if you control both her and Bruna, you get Brizella, which is pretty good, it turns out, having a 9-10 flying first strike vigilance like they can deploy the contrast spells with kind of my class three or less. If, if you have to take a breath after after reading uh, all the relevant text on a card, you know it's probably good. And uh, yeah, so it's a win condition, I mean it's, it's kind of win more, but at the same time, you know, it's not impossible to get to. And then uh, yeah, so we're going to just roll this out online, see how it does. And uh, hopefully it'll be decent. <laughs> That's all I can ask for. And I don't know. Do you remember how last season I went 20 you know, on the ladder without a loss? And then, well, this season I went 0-3. <laughs> it isn't. It has not been kind to me. Uh, but we've we've kind of steadily rose since then. I think we're like ranked six now, maybe five. I don't know. I haven't played too many games online because I like testing against the AI. But. I don't know, I played some really good games. I had one of the best games of Magic I've ever had with this deck. I gained over 25 life with Nimbala in one game. And my opponent had me on one. So that shows how much pressure they were putting on, and I managed to uh, survive. Uh, I'm not on the play, but I'm going to keep. If the, I'd love this hand if I was on the play. On the keep is a bit more risky. But uh, we have. I mean, we have ramp, we have a way, one way to survive. Like, a turn one Jardy would have just cemented the sand. We have a way to survive, and then we can hopefully get to our ramp spell, and then, uh, slam down Oblivion so and hopefully go from there. Green, black. Could be Delirium? Could be... Oh, I didn't recognise the name, I should check. Frozo... Fronzo... Okay, I'm not gonna... I don't know them. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. Uh, okay, so we're on blue, black, Sultai, which is... A colour combination, there's, an, there's another angel, but unfortunately we have no creatures yet, so she loses a lot of her value. But hey, we got priority back, by the way, in case you didn't notice there. I have to actually manually go to end step, which is fantastic. <laughs> I missed it so much. Uh, it was, it's just been one of them, uh, uh, it's been, it's been good. There's, I'm having one problem with the expansion, and uh, like no, there's no major bugs like last time or anything. But I do, I'm, I am getting a lot of fatal errors, and I'm not sure if that's just me or if it's the community or not. But every once in a while, the game just crashes, which is really frustrating when you're playing a 
when your recording software stops <laughs> if you uh, alt-tab out. So, because, uh, you know, that means I, I end up prematurely losing my uh, recording. So if you ever randomly see me like stop talking at, at the end of like game one or something, it probably means the first match was really good, and uh, the first match was really good, and I was randomly kicked out of game two, so I just uploaded a short video. So just uh, keep that in mind. Blame Stimless, not me. They couldn't get everything per perfect. So so far, we're in four colors from our opponent and customers. He goes with a turn for Eyeless Watcher, so he could be on the whole uh, Crater Hoof, what's it called, Decimator Provinces. But I'm not too worried yet. Uh, Slam a billion so I down. The angel's got no value, that's that's the problem right now. Uh, how many lands did we hit? Just one. What did we XL? Oh, we better let this deck. Hey, we got Little Mug and Sifter, of course, and Barrage Tyrant. So our opponent's on five color Eldrazi. Just keep in mind we are low ladder. <laughs> no, no, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna lose now that I've jinxed myself like that, but five color Eldrazi was not a deck I was expecting to fight today. A wretched griff. Well, that works. I mean, you just paid two mana. Is only is that thing's a merge only six? Yeah, interesting. And the explosive vegetation for the other two scions. Um, I'm really not sure how I feel about that. Because we have this blessed alliance, I'm going to attack here on my turn. Hopefully, we draw something else here other than the land. Well, we get to keep this Blessed Alliance now. But I mean, opponents on a four turn clock. And... I don't know, this is interesting, I can't say... I, I mean, Boon of Emrakul... I can, I can guess why it's not Grasp of Darkness if you're playing 5 color Eldrazi, let's put it that way. I mean, I'm not sure if... I mean, should I even just play out this Boon? I don't know what's in his deck, like, whatever board way. Uh... Barrage Tyrant, Sifter of Skulls, Ulamog, Wretched Griff, and a Eyeless Watcher. So this is this is definitely a deck. Our opponent isn't playing games. Oblivion Soul of his own, so. Let's see what he hits off us. There goes Gisela, no, the dream's over. But I mean, apart from that, I'm actually okay. I would have loved Gisela there, but. Our other spells. Unfortunately, we like telegraphed. Our opponent exactly what's in our hand because he managed to hit a blessed lines and the Gideon's reproach. But well, we've got a blessed hands and a Gideon's reproach in hand. So uh, I don't know. I might just slam up this this uh, oh no, Tyler's tracking down instead. And sacrifice the clue. So yeah, luckily we managed to get some sort of card draw engine going. Attack for five because I want him to attack me so I can kill it with Blessed Alliance. And he may not block, he does block, and this guy has no respect for the. I don't know, Wild Size wouldn't even do it. it. Means I can't expose the vegetation this turn, but. I'm not too worried. Um, because if this, if this Tyler's Tracker can survive until. Next turn we should be golden because we'll be able to expose the vegetation and the card advantage of all them clues should do it. Vile aggregates come down. <laughs> I'm gonna say this is a this is a spicy brew from my opponent. <laughs> and let's see if he can respect the blessed lines he knows I have. He is not. Fair play to him. Uh, make so many clues here, I think. Green, green. Sacrifice. I'm just gonna try and pump this uh, Tyler's track into it, right? Ooh, Angelic Purge, perfect. We even get to sacrifice another clue here. Decoration Stone is not as good, I don't think. Uh, we're actually gonna sacrifice a land though here to kill this thing because I actually want the clue. I don't care, just take that land, I don't know what it was, but just take it. <laughs> so we are now 
definitely in the driver's seat. And if he ever does deal with his talent tracker, Bruno brings it straight back. So I'm, I'm glad I kept Bruno in hand. And he's going down to 4 here. If I can do maths right. Hey, I can. And. I mean, it's not exactly. I mean, we could awaken a plane Rob versus Lethal now, I guess. That's. That's something. And he can't rule Mogus. So I've got to keep that in mind. So yeah. It was, I mean, we got lucky. He. He hit our mythic, we hit his mythic. Friend to begin my name is Andy Became Friends. Is he gonna retch He's dead. <laughs> uh, do I show him the decoration stone? I've got a quest at the minute that says cast a certain moon with green white spells, so I'm actually I'm gonna bad manner him to you. Uh, I do I I don't know, that feels bad and Okay. We're just gonna leave. I'm not risking this game freezing out. <laughs> And 30 gold, so yay. Tell us what you think. I think the game's alright. <laughs> so that's Angel Ramp. We didn't actually play an Angel that game, just keep that in mind. And that's all I've really got to say. Uh, we could have played Bruno Br out, probably might have been better. We probably could have killed him a turn maybe earlier. But I, I, I didn't know what my opponent was doing. He was in fact a lot of drowsy. God knows what was in that pile. So I thought it was a. Uh, it might be tactically safer to keep that behind in case he ended up slamming a uh, uh, gruesome slaughter and then he could wipe the field or whatever. Oop, be back in a sec. Sorry about that guys, uh, <laughs> I had a phone call so I had to sprint off to get that, but uh, yeah, I kept this hand, it looks alright. <laughs> That's all I've got to say, I feel bad for my opponent, he had to wait half my turn time there. But uh, I'll try and be nice to him, who is it? Raka 92, which makes him three years older than me. Let's hope, uh, I don't know, you, the youth wins. <laughs> okay, so Black Red, he hasn't done anything in turn two, but which means he's holding a hand full of fiery impulses and grasp of darkness. But, uh, you know, maybe he's not. <laughs> that's, that's the, that's the uh, logic I've got there. Never mind, he's playing vampires. That was the slowest vampire start I've ever seen. Uh, I'm not even going to decoration a stone that. I'm going to Gideon's Reproach at the turn after this ramp spell, though, I think. You don't want to get too far behind, and... Not going to attack. Maybe, he d maybe he's scared of uh, this thing. I, I mean, I doubt he's going <laughs> to... He really, maybe he d really doesn't want to lose a Blood, blood Mad Vampire, but... I'm not too worried about it. Uh, we have two removal spells in hand, which is good. Stentia Masquerade, that thing is actually going to be really big really fast here. I might just jump. No, we're not going to jump, screw it. We have a Declaration Stone, and we, we uh, I quite like this creature, this Despot Recruiter. We take 4, which is a lot, but it looks like he, he mustn't have much in hand if he's playing that with only one Vampire in the field. So... And we just do Linvala, which is really nice. Uh, I'm going to go Declaration Nissa. Because Gideon's Report should kill anything either, either way. And, uh... I don't know. Maybe, maybe I should play Declaration. I'm really scared if he went, like, Titan Strength, Titan Strength and saved his creature and, like, smacked me with, like, 15. That was what I was worried about there. Although I guess we could have we could have blocked either way, so I don't know. Maybe that was wrong. We have Linvala, so I'm probably shouldn't be too worried about my life, and I kind of want him to get a wide board. But uh, this is a really slow start from Vampires. He didn't do anything to turn three, and he's only played one creature so far. And he's sucking a clue, yeah. So I don't know what's in his hand. It must be a bunch of stuff like a bunch of madness cards, I'm guessing, like Arms of the Vein, Fiery Temper, Lightning Axe. There's another bit of bad moment, but we have to get into approach this time. We're even going to flip on this here, so... Good times. Sure, yep. Green, white. Probably should have only got double green, just in case uh, I draw a Miriam Shepherd, but I've got plans in hand. I'm going to plus. Uh, I could make the, the token, but 
That's Gisela. <laughs> My opponent gets to see that. Uh, we are going to attack. If he wants to block, I'm fine. Okay, go. for a minute there, I thought that thing had first strike permanently. Well, we can't block either way, so he's not exactly going to block. So, yeah, so I think attack's right there. And like I said, I'm not too worried about life because we have uh, Linvala and Gisela now. What the hell is that? Murderer's Axe. I've never seen that card before, what does it do? The creep creature gets plus two plus two, discard a card. Still in still in fiery temper um Gideon's approach range. Yeah, so there's he's got nothing that could save this. See this is just I'll put him to discard for a really really bad start, so we should be in a position to take over the game here. Especially as we just do another removal spell, this is going to be pretty pretty hard to lose. Perfect. So, hopefully we hit one land here just for Gisela. We did. Perfect. Slam you down, and now our opponent is just really, really in trouble. Uh, in fact, I think they are on, on, they're on notice next turn. Nine, eleven. No, they're not on notice next turn. If we'd made the token, they would have been, so maybe that was... Well, I wouldn't have drawn Oblivion Source, so it's kind of a mute point. But then I guess I could have played Linvala and put him on a one-turn notice, but... Uh, nah, there's not too much I'm worried about in a vampire deck. Even if he's making these one ones here, we're just putting on way more pressure than good cards he can discard. Yeah, there's a Fire Temper, you can lob it at Nissa or just watch Recruit. I'll probably just watch him soon. That's what I'd love it at. No, he's going. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe the maybe the four three lifelink flying vigilance angel. That might be a good idea as well. Uh, and we're just we're just drawing. It would run extra cards off the Nissa. It's just not a good situation for him to be in. Player up first. Uh, I'm I'm not going to. I might Angelic Purge that, that, uh, what's it called, Call the Bloodline. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. He's not blocking. <laughs> uh, he's, I guess he's going to try and put pressure on Nyssa. Sacrifice the red land, his his own land, uh, just for bad manners. And just ramp a bit more, I guess. You know, I'm going to keep this land in hand, just in case a Mirror Shepherd comes off the top. We've already got 10 lands for Ulma, we don't need any more than that. If he attacks Nissa, he doesn't even get the buff, buff off Stentia Masquerade. This card's a Fiery Temper, so I, yeah, he did have a bunch of Madness cards. This time the Fiery Temper is going at my face. That's a lot of burn you must have if he's launching it at my face. Well. I wasn't wrong. Uh, oh god. Uh, yeah, I can see what he's doing now. But we have to play our first. And, uh, it's interesting to see if he goes from Nissa on my face. Yeah, I'm guessing he's going face just by the way he launched that fiery temper. Yep. Yeah, it's a right call from my opponent. Unfortunately, I might just build it. Depending on what I draw, I might just build this player up first. Because that thing is a, a six-six first striking creature. He's, he's went all he's went all in on it. We might as well uh, make it make him sad unless we draw an answer here and we just do an answer. So this is just this is heartbreaking. And because green one is going to get us a removal spell back. Uh, decoration stone. And now we can ultimate this the next turn. So, I think I think we're there now. I, I think we're really there. He need to like even if he's got like arms of the veins, fiery temper in hand, we could just uh, we can Linvala to gain the life because we'll be underneath him. I think next turn I'm gonna Linvala, depending on what he does. Uh, two spells I could deal eight damage. Double firecraft is what I would have needed, and he wouldn't have had the land to do it. So. 
Might as well go for the ultimate, I haven't done this in a while. And this is the decent decent amount of damage coming on my opponent here, just uh, the standard minus minus 62, I think. Uh, Hammerfell will be minus 50? No, he's on 10, so it'll be minus 40. No, minus 32, I'm wrong. Uh, minus 34, that's close. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Mental maths off the top of my head. Uh, what time is it? I think we'll, we'll play one more. Hopefully, if the game doesn't crash, if it does crash, then I'll thank you guys for watching. I'll see you later. <laughs> That's really depressing. I'm going to do that every single time now. After after a game, I'm going to say thank you guys for watching. See you later because the crashing is real. But uh, we managed to survive through this one. So game three. We went. What, what did we won one? We lost one. No, did we? We did we lose one. I feel, I've lost track. I'll comp I'm not gonna lie. Uh, spoiler: I did actually record with this deck beforehand, and uh, I did have the fatal crash situation after game one. So I've completely lost track of what I've played and what I haven't played. So uh, yeah, keep that in mind. And one land hand, four land hand. I'll keep. It's not the greatest hand I've ever kept, but we do have a removal spell and an early creature, so I can't really complain too much. We're playing Tupiaka Outer 9, <laughs> which is uh, an opponent. He's mulliganed once, he's mulliganed twice, and he's kept on 6. Didn't really have a choice, but he did keep on 6. What rank is he? Let's see if... Okay, 7 versus 7. Okay, this is the battle. The battle to end all battles. Can I end on the Fabled Rank 8? Uh, legend, legend said it's possible, but I'm not too sure. Hey, I really like that draw. Uh, she's not the best thing in the world, but she's a nice bridge between Amiria Shepherd. So I do have to remember to keep my planes in hand as long as possible here. But I'm going to need double white anyway, so not with this hand anyway. Uh, one, two, three, seven cards in hand. He kept, he didn't keep a one lander. Good. And uh, declaration. Wow, he's just gone straight out. I'm fine with that. I can draw, I draw an extra card this turn, and that means he, he's one removal spell down for Gisela. I don't know. I've never, I've never been sure whether it's right to remove Silver Advocates or not. And I've, I've never known to be. I mean, sometimes I feel. You just paving you, you you're gonna be one removal spell down for the bigger creatures, but at the same time, Seven Advocate is a big creature. They get to turn six, so I've never been sure. There is a turn three Thalia. Uh, that is a good girl, and she can actually you know make my Gisela come to play tapped. So I might go this much recruiter the Blessed Alliance this turn. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Make sure I play a non-basic land. Gotta keep that in mind because you know her ability. Creatures and non-basic lands you control in the battlefield tapped, so good thing I remembered that there. And let's go like this, I think. He's gonna come into play tapped and I'll sack, it, sack her with Blessed Alliance. If if he decides to attack, maybe he goes and oh I'd love it if he went Angelic Destiny. Well he'd you get the Angelic Destiny back, I guess. But uh Sunstone some Bridge. So looks like we're playing mono white humans, which is still a really slow start, but he did mulligan. He didn't get a play till turn three, which is uh, a long way. Always watching, God. Uh, this would be really bad if I didn't have this removal spell. Surprise! <laughs> Make sure I choose him because it's a uh, target player, I think. So all is all is not lost. Uh, we get to slam out a turn five Gisela next turn. Could explosive vegetation ramp, but I've got nothing I particularly want to bring back with Amiria Shepherd yet, so we might hold off. Just slam down our angel, and then if he does remove it, he's already used one declaration, so maybe he's got reprisals or something we can bring. Amiria Shepherd, get the angel train going. He was on a mulligan, so he might not have too many more removal spells. Uh, you could just slam down Avacyn here, that would be worse. Collective effort. Yeah, so, like I said, Amira Shepard does bring it back, so... Fair play. And he doesn't even get the tokens, that was a 3 mana sorcery speed reprisal from my opponent right there. So, collective effort, probably just add it as well. 
I wouldn't say I'd say it's, it's harsh to call it at its worst, but I think we could all agree it wasn't at its best. Uh, I've dual my angelic purge. I can nuke that always watching if I want. But the question is, I mean, we're kind of <laughs> to put it bluntly, we, bluntly, we're kind of low on permanence at the minute. Uh, I kind of want land, and uh, I want my creature. I can start digging for other creatures here, so it might live for the time being. He's down to two cards. It looks like he doesn't have a creature yet. Good, good. And a pun's gone. But we'll play this one out because uh, it's the last game and all that. And I'm not exactly sure I've got it safe yet. Okay, perfect. We just drew the best spell, we could, best thing we could have drawn, and it was the planes. So yeah, this is this is all the decks trying to do. <laughs> just get the angel turn going. So when I said this game wasn't entirely over, that that top deck I cemented it. <laughs> uh, we just put. 8 power of angels on the field for 6 mana because of the reduction of uh, Kraven, Kraven Hold Howler. Samsung, but yeah, opponent. It was a mulligan. It was a definitely not a solid keep. He, 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 he thought he. It, to be fair to him, that Thalia was, would have done a lot of work if, uh, if uh, I didn't have the removal that turn. You. I'll declaration your angel. You can have your kill you, and then I'll smack you for 8, 11. So you're, in, you're on notice, you need a planar outburst in your white human aggro deck. So it's it's not looking pretty. What, what have we seen? We've seen Gisela. I mean, his, his creatures weren't terrible. He had two of the most powerful creatures in mono white. He just he didn't have any of the early junk. And uh, because... I'm now playing the AI, I'm actually gonna bad manner him a bit because uh, I've got a quest to cast a certain number of white spells. And I'm not gonna risk the tragic arrogance in case he drew the reprisal because I know I'd lose the game at that point. Or like a, you know, Gideon's reproach or something. But yeah, so I'm not sure our overall record because, like I said, I've kind of forgotten, but Angel Ramp, it's a deck. <laughs> Unfortunately, we didn't get to meld, but uh, like I said, it's, it's, it's not exactly a common thing. But uh, yeah, so first video of Eldritch Moon, hope you guys enjoyed. Overall, I'll give Stainless a 7 out of 10, I think is, is a fair record. And uh, like, my, my rating skill is quite, like a 7 out of 10 isn't great. <laughs> it may, may be good, and, but, I mean like, uh, there's still some problems, there's some, some bugs that I forgot to fix, but overall the game, and the, the Xbox people seem to be having a lot of trouble connecting to matches and stuff, but, and all the fatal error stuff, but uh, they did. They did do a lot this expansion, uh, bringing like a lot, of, lot of bugs were fixed. Priorities back, which I'm not even going to count as a bug because they messed that up in the first place. But there we have it. And uh, like I said, I might be streaming later on tonight, so join me there if you want. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I will see you later.